Hello Vinyl community and hello all the Foo Fighters fans. Uh, this is an update video for my Foo Fighters collection or my Foo Fighters record collection uh, to be more specific. Uh, I made a video back in I think September 2017 which was like a bit over two years ago where I made a video listing all my Foo Fighters uh, CD and vinyl releases that I have. Um, now I actually forgot to check how many different releases I had uh, on my last video two years ago. Uh, but anyways, this is an update for that. So now I'm going to show you all the Foo Fighters items I, I have bought after that video. There isn't that much stuff, but maybe about 15 or 20 new releases. Uh, I think we can start with the CDs first. Um, this is a one release that I bought back in 2017 already. Uh, and it is Wheels CD single. Uh, this is the official release, a European one uh, that was released in back in 2009. Uh, and it features Wheels plus word for word. Word for word. How the hell is it even spelled? Uh, uh, those two songs and these are the two new songs that were featured on their Greatest Hits album uh, back in two two 2009. So this was a nice find. I think I got this through Discogs. I think this was from Germany if I'm not wrong. I'm not 100% sure since it's been two years since I bought it, so I can't remember shortly. Uh, then I have a Dutch pressing of Everlong. I actually really love this cover uh, version with this kind of like black and white color with the power lines and uh, street lights and stuff like that. I really like love this like cover on this single and I actually have been thinking about if I sometime have happened to release an own album I would love to do something like this on the album cover probably but who knows this I got from Finland if I remember right from one record store I bought it online it was 5 euros, so quite expensive for a CD single, since I think this is, isn't a rare one, but it would have been probably more expensive to order from Europe somewhere else, see, because of the shipping costs. But yeah, Dutch pressing of Everlong, and it features Everlong, uh, Gary Newman cover of the song uh, Down in the Park, and CU acoustic version. Uh, then I have one by one. I think this is probably third or fourth variation I have of this release. Uh, this is a I think this is a European pressing with a or this is a two CD pressing. So there is one CD right here. And then there is a, a DVD on the CD too. And I think there are like, I think there is all my life music video probably and something like that. I, I actually haven't checked the contents of the DVD, but I, I think there is all my life music video, then probably some clips from the tour, tour they had back in 2002-2003 uh, 
probably some photos and stuff like that. Uh, then I have... Uh, oh, yeah. Then I have three CD singles here that I got like... Two weeks ago, probably, or something like that. I bought some CD singles from eBay. I found one particular Foo Fighters CD single with a really nice price, and it's a more rare one. But let we, let me start off by showing this. So here is all my life. Uh, this is a European slash UK pressing, if I remember right. And this is the so-called CD2 version. So some of the times uh, the UK releases or the European CD single releases, they are have like this so-called CD1 version and CD2 version. Even though the case doesn't have like place for two CDs or anything like that, but they are just called for whatever reason like that. And this uh, version has All My Life album version, so it is the album version. Um, Danny Says, which is a cover, and then the song number three on the single is The One. And actually I should get The One as a CD single, since I still don't have it. Because uh, that it was only released in Australia. Uh, and New Zealand or something like that, I think. Or at least the commercial release. There is probably some promotional releases in Europe and maybe in the US even. But definitely there is a European promo version existing. Uh, then I have Best of You. And actually this was supposed to be the, I think, is it like this CD1 version or something, so UK release, uh, where this flag or something, what this is here in the background, the red stuff here, it should be blue, and uh, it would feature Best of You, and then a cover song called I'm in a love with the German film star, but... This wasn't the one the guy told he was selling, but I first I was a bit p pissed when I received this, when I saw that, wait a second, this isn't the one that I thought I bought. But then I noticed that this is a different version to the Best of You I already have. I actually have two copies of Best of You, or the one of the commercial releases, UK one, I think. They, this features the same songs as those two I have. They are like the same one release. I have two copies of that. Uh, but this features different like this... What is this code here? On the spine. Is it like a serial number or not the serial number but... Whatever that number is I can't... Is it like a publishment number or something? But this has a different, so this is a different release, even though this has the same songs as those two I already have. So I wasn't pissed after all when I found, the, uh, found out that this is a total new version of the single that I already don't have. But I'm still missing the one with I'm in love with the German film star cover song, so I would love to get that. On my collection but I have to wait a bit more but now we are going to look up the most exciting one uh, on my last pack I bought these singles and the third one I have here is Resolve and as you can see if you collect Foo Fighters singles or you collect Foo Fighters stuff you know this is a bit more a rare one so this is the CD2 version you can see my goddamn camera there or my phone which is filming uh, and my record player there uh, but yeah this is the CD2 version of Resolve 
And this is a very important single for me because this is the song that started it all for me. This is song got me excited about rock music, about the Foo Fighters, about music in general. So this is this song has a really special place for me for the rest of my life since it changed my life. So this is the CD2 version and the median price in Discogs for this is currently like 5 euros or 4 or 5 bucks or something like that. But uh, when I checked from eBay, these go for like 50 or 60 euros, even more. And I think this was like, was did I uh, pay like 15 or I think it was like 13 euros only for this. So this was a really nice find with a really nice price since and actually, I don't even know why this is so rare to find. At one point, there were like five copies for sale in Discogs like two years or three years ago. But now, there has been totally quiet with this release. There hasn't been, I think, during the last 18 or 24 months, I, I haven't seen none. Of this release in Discogs. So it seems to be really rare or scarce release. And this is a official release, so that, that is that's the why it's so weird. And this features Resolve, then World Demo version, Born on the Bayou, which is a cover song, and then a video called Resolve Take Two. And it is like uh, the video where the song is playing on the background and then there is like shots when the band was filming the video and like behind the scenes kind of stuff. So it's a really interesting one. I think it's on YouTube too, available to watch it from there, but it's cool to have that release and especially when the song is really meaningful to me. So that was a really nice find and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, then I have probably the smallest thing in my collection or in my whole record collection is a three inch single for Big Me. And this is a record store release from this spring, so spring 2019. And this was released with the Crossley three inch record player which I didn't buy because Crossley is full of shit and they suck pretty much. So I just wanted the Foo Fighters release since I want to collect them all. And I got this from Canada from SRC Vinyl, if I remember right, maybe. And they ma happened to have one, I had to pay like fucking 30 euros to get this to Finland so that pretty much sucked a bit because this single was worth for like 10 euros probably probably even a bit less but the shipping is so expensive from uh, North America to Finland and vice versa but uh, yeah I just had to get that and that is actually the only record store release I got this year. Uh, then we move over to a box set that I got, I think... This was probably back in 2017. So this is a box set that has, I think, 10 7 inch singles. And uh, this was a kind of like charity release. It's called Seven Inches for a Plant Parenthood. So I think this had something to do with the... Um, there was some talk in the US about... I, I, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was some talk that y you are not allowed to do abortion or something like that. And uh, all the songs that were streamed or bought and the, all the 
these box sets that were bought, all the uh, money went for a organization called Planned Parenthood, uh, which support uh, the availability for to do a abortion. Which is a good thing in in my opinion that there is a option to like do an abortion. If you think about like someone who gets raped, some woman or something like that, I think there should be like a possibility to do an abortion in a case like that, for example. Or in case an accident happens, because that kind of shit happens when people are drunk and they uh, they make some love. So 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 I think it, it's a good thing to be available at least. Uh, but let's skip all that shit. So, but anyways, uh, one Foo Fighters song is featured on this a box set and it's called Soldier. And that is actually only released on this box set and uh, well, uh, of course, it's also released digitally. But this is the only physical version available for that song. And wait a second. There is... Foo Fighters, as you can see, and actually I haven't even opened this box set yet. This has like some kind of like it has music. There's like Bjork, uh, Bon Iver, uh, Foo Fighters, uh, and so on. And then there is like kind of like stand-up comedy and stuff like that. That. Zach Galifianakis is here also, and so on. And uh, let's mo move over to the like more normal releases. Uh, here I have a jukebox release or pressing of Walking After You. This is a US version. There is also a UK pressing. Uh, and this was a really nice... F Actually, I managed to buy this from Finland. Uh, the kind of like Finnish version of eBay, uh, which is called Huutonet. And I managed to buy this from there. So, walking after you. And on the B side, there is a New Way Home. And it was interesting that it was the US pressing, uh, especially since it was here in Finland, I would have thought that it would have been the UK version since we're in Europe, but yeah, this was a really nice find. Uh, let's move over to the next one, which is the Pretender released back in 2007 and this is the European pressing uh, on clear vinyl I can show it to you here you can see the clear color uh, there is also a US pressing which is a promotional one and it's on black vinyl I, I don't have that one yet but it's on my want list but this was a really nice addition to my 7-inch single collection. Then I have Monkey Wrench. Uh, actually, uh, almost all of these 7-inch singles were only UK-only releases, so they weren't released in the States. I think the only ones are like, I'll stick around probably. Um, this is a call. Then I think Best of You had some kind of promotional version available. And... Yeah, that is pretty much it. There hasn't been like... At least official commercial releases in the States. That's kind of weird. I didn't... I think maybe the 70s singles are, were like a bigger thing in the UK or something. That's the reason probably. Uh, then I have a Big Me 
7 inch single which is on white vinyl. I think these two singles, uh, Monkey Wrench and this Big Me single here, it's on white marbled vinyl. Looks really nice. I think I bought these from Greece, if I remember right. And I think there was some kind of like scrap or trash on the, or some kind of like shit on the Monkey Wrench single. So I should try to get that crap away so it's like possible to listen to the single because they were quite big chunks of some kind of like scrap. Uh, then we move over to the albums and 12 inch singles and all the stuff like that. Here I have uh, the 2015 European reissue of One by One. Uh, these are the probably the most common ones nowadays to find these 2015 European releases if you see some Foo Fighters releases in some record store so I have bought this also I also have as you probably can remember from my last video I also have some of the some of the 2011 US reissues uh, then a really nice find I made uh, this spring, like six months ago. I got the original European pressing of There is nothing left to lose. There is the hype sticker even, as you can see. And the most exciting part is that the original pressings of There is nothing left to lose included a fake tattoo of this very tattoo you can hear, see here, uh, and this actually included it. So I can show it to you guys. Wait a second, where did I put it? Here it is. So here is the tattoo, and you can see that it's a real. So this isn't like a fake fake like self-made tattoo or anything like that so this is the real deal and I think I got this with like 50 euros or something from Finland uh, from a record store in Tampere or in a city called Tampere here in Finland so this was a really nice find and these sell for like these are closer like 100 euros if it's in good condition and it it also has the tattoo with and so this was a really good bargain in my opinion since I think you could probably get, get closer 100 euros for this since this is in really beautiful condition plus it has the tattoo so this was a really nice really nice find oh shit I almost fell all these albums all right. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, uh, the concrete and gold CD version is in my car right now, so I am not able to get it uh, to this video. But I also have the European version of concrete and gold on CD. Uh, then we have this one here this is a really exciting release this is the actually the really first Foo Fighters release ever so this is the exhausted slash Winnebago Winnebago how is it spelled but uh, this is a promotional 12 inch single so this wasn't a commercial release but this was like the first release they made probably in June 1995 or May 1995 I think and this I got through Discogs from the States 
uh, back in 2017. But this was a really nice find and a really cool addition to my collection. Um, yeah, then I have a couple pressings of concrete and gold here. Here is the original European pressing. Uh, I had pre-ordered this right away when the pre-order started. I bought the whatever super deluxe version. There was a flight back that is on my shelf right there. Then there were these Russian nest dolls. There's Dave Grohl and the other guys are inside there. Uh, then there were like passport, uh, some kind of like uh, diary, uh, diary, or uh, was it? What is it? Diary, yeah. The book you write your personal stuff into <laughs> is a diary. How the fuck? Uh, I just thought about diarrhea, fucking hell. Whatever, yeah, yeah let's, let's move on. <laughs> uh, I sound stupid. Uh, yeah, so, the original European pressing of concrete and gold. Uh, then I have the back in black version, which is basically the same as like that release I showed before, but it features like fully black cover and then you can feel that F letters here in the middle uh, and I'm not sure I bought this from the UK Foo Fighters store uh, like probably was it like the summer 2018 I guess uh, there was a since there was a release when they released the album first back in 2017 uh, there was this kind of like biggest Spotify fans or something that got to buy a black in bl back in black black in black version of the album that had a cover like this and I didn't buy it back then but I thought it was the same release that they just didn't sell everything and they put it on sale on the website I thought something like that but in these cogs there are two separate releases, uh, but I think there were like the same matrixes and everything like all this album was the same. So I, I'm not sure is there a proper way to, to like differentiate the two releases. I have to look up for that, but anyways, this is the, the black in black version of Concrete and Gold. And then the last one I have here for this video is a French reissue of Concrete and Gold. And this features also the black in black color as you can see. But there is a hype sticker in French. And this, is, this was a limited edition. I think they said on the website where I bought, bought this, it's, it was a French like uh, electronic store or it wasn't like a, a full record store they sell, sold other stuff as well if I remember right but it was called FNAC FNAC you can see it there this was the it uh, as you can see it says exclusive like pressing for FNAC or how the hell that is even spelled but this is on blue vinyl and according to the website I think this was limited to 1000 copies and this was released I think was it in March 2018 and I bought this probably during April or May 2018 right when I found out that there was a release like this. Since I hadn't heard anything about this, it I just kind of like randomly stumbled upon it in the internet, so that was a nice thing. As you can see here, it's on blue vinyl and it features the same songs and everything is the same as in the normal 
pressing as well so there isn't like anything new on this pressing except for the color but yeah one more version in my collection so actually I'm only missing the original US pressing and then the US black in black version that was released the Spotify thing I told you guys just a while ago but so I think this wraps up my video I hope you guys liked this video and tell me if you are a Foo Fighters collector since it would be a really nice to chat about the collections and like compare do you have this do you have that kind of stuff and yeah so on I hope you guys liked I hope you this was a interesting video for you guys and I'm really sorry guys I know there has been a couple requests and a couple of guys that have waited for like two years for for me to make a video where I list the best Foo Fighters album or where I make a list which is the best Foo Fighters album in my opinion and so on. I I thought I was gonna do that kind of video series and I'm still planning to do a video series like that but uh, it has taken way too long for me but I, I really promise you guys that video series will come out I don't know when but I have started uh, the process of like rating the songs and the albums I think I made like the ratings for the first three albums but then just everything went to like frozen state so uh, nothing like happened and it didn't get anywhere but hopefully I'm able to begin the series in the near future at least I'm I'm going to try to do that um, but I, I don't want to make any promises since I don't want to like disappoint you guys but I'm trying to do this vinyl and music videos more often too I'm quite busy with life. We actually bought a apartment with my girlfriend, girlfriend just uh, yesterday, or we were at the bank to write all the paperwork and stuff like that. So we are moving to our new home next month. So that may also affect on my time to do these videos. But when we get all the stuff. Uh, like down there and the house is like decorated and all stuff like that probably during December I, I'm able to make more videos then uh, because I will have a music room like in this house too I will have a music room there as well so I'm able to film these videos in that room which is nice but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, thanks for watching, uh, tell me if you are a Foo Fighters collector or record collector and feel free to leave any comments, likes, subscribe if you are new to my channel and want to see more, yeah, well, that's it guys, thanks and we see on my next video, thank you and bye bye.